Hi, this is Darren Power from On Course Profits. And in today's um, presentation, we're looking at staying chases and some research done by Dr. Nid Hardman. And specifically, uh, Nick has looked at trainers who excel in handicap chases and trainers who we can follow in those races for long term profits. Nick says, I must admit, I'm more of a fan of the jumps than I am of the flat. Indeed, since I've been posting selections to the betting school for their big race coverage, I've had much more success with horses running over obstacles. Within the national hunt sphere, I much prefer the staying races to those where speed is of the essence, and I also prefer chases to hurdle races. All of that brings me to my favourite type of race, the staying handicap chase. There is nothing more rewarding than picking the winner of a decent staying chase, and the thrill of watching your selection sail over the fences and outstay his rivals is second to none. This type of race is the one I have the most success with from a tipping perspective. A lot of the better ones attract massive fields, so if, you, if we are on to the winner, then the chances are we have a good return at a double figure price. When I go through the card of one of these races, the first port of call, call for me is the trainer. Certain trainers are renowned for their ability to train horses over a trip and in this article I explore which trainers are most profitable to follow. I will be looking at handicapped chases run over three miles or further and concentrate on the results from 2010 to 2018. Some will be obvious and others will not, but hopefully we can put a portfolio of trainers together that we can follow in the current jump season and hopefully land a few winners along the way. Katie Price trainer who operates out of a small yard in Hereford, close to the Welsh border. Some will be familiar with her and some will not, but the bottom line is that she does well with her small string of runners and the staying chases have a good overall record in the last three seasons. As you can see, she has won 10 such races from 42 runners since 2016. That equates to the strike rate just shy of 24% and backing each runner to £1 level stakes at Betfair SP would have returned a healthy profit of £42.88 at a return on investment of just over 100%. In other words, for every pound staked, you would have got £2 back. It should be noted that all bar one of the 10 winners were ridden by Ben Post and the 10 wins have come from just four horses. Minella Celebration has been responsible for four of those wins, as has, as has Schindler's Prince. Chances are we see one or both of those pop up again this season. Also, five wins have come at Utoxeter, so take a note of anything she sends over there this year. What we really need is one or two emerging runners, and the likes of Clondor Rigger and Bandon Bridge could be worth noting this season. So the system is to back Katie Price handicap chasers running over between 3 miles and 4 miles 4. Dr. Richard Newland. Not really a secret this one given his success in the Grand National, but nevertheless you cannot argue with this trainer's ability to train one over a marathon trip. His figures since 2010 are shown below. A 20% strike rate and our ROI of around 30% are good numbers, but as ever we should try and see if there are any hidden trends beneath the bare figures. First port of call is to look at the number of previous handicap chase wins and those with previous winning form over the larger obstacles, and those with between one to four wins appear to be the way to go. He does well with recruits from other yards, which should, would go some way to explaining these results, as he certainly knows how to eke out improvement from those runners who did not quite cut it with their former employer. What we see is that 29 out of 32 winners had won between naught and four chases. The strike rate is similar to, over, to the overall results, but the ROI increases nicely, as does, as does the profit and loss at Betfair SP. Another thing to note is that the results are skewed by Pinner de Ries Grand National win. That horse was his only Class 1 winner from 23 attempts since 2010. The Grand National is a unique race that should be studied in its own right, so I'm going to remove good old Pinu from the data as we are looking to bag winners throughout the season, not just in the world's most famous race. In do doing so, we see the following results for Class 2 to Class 5 races. The strike rate is up to 27%, but the overall profit and loss and ROI are down slightly, as Pino de Rie did win at a decent price. If you want more of a micro angle from within those numbers, then look to to the races over three miles and three miles and a half of furlong, as he has had the following record in those races. So to recap, we are looking for Dr. Richard Newland runners, 
racing over three mile and three mile and a half furlong in class two to class five races. We also find that in doing so we can remove the filter for the number of previous chase wins as they do not affect the overall statistics. However, if you want to look at races beyond three mile and a half furlong, then this filter could be useful. The system is to back Dr. Newland's handicap chases running in class two, three, four and five over three mile and three mile half furlong. This presentation is shared just two trainers from our handicap chase portfolio. You can get access to the full portfolio with all the trainer angles for free when you subscribe to On Course Profits magazines at www.oncourseprofits.com forward slash free.